I got this home sign from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be taking that aluminum heart off of it. So all I did was heat set it with my heat gun. You could use a blow dryer. And then I just used my scraper tool just to take it right off. And it literally just peeled right off. And then I just sanded down that surface. So now I'm using folk art chalk paint in the color Java and white. And I'm just mixing the two together to create a lighter brown color. And once I have the two mixed together, I then just start applying it right onto the sign. This did take about three coats, so you just want to dry each individual coat before going on to the next. And once it was completely covered, you want to just allow everything to completely dry. Once that is completely dry, now I'm doing a dry brush method using that white chalk paint. All this consists of is putting a small amount of the chalk paint on your paintbrush. If you have a little bit too much on there, just offload it and then start applying that chalk paint with light brush strokes. So now I got three of these cylinder storage containers from Dollar Tree. And then I'll be using a total of 22 craft sticks. And I just cut all the craft sticks right in half. Once those craft sticks were all cut up, I then just began hot gluing them all around the round storage container. You want to make sure that each craft stick is as close together as possible. And I didn't fill up the storage container entirely. I did leave about an inch or two on the back side open. That's going to be left open for when I am gluing it onto the sign. So now using folk art chalk paint in the color Java to paint the craft sticks on that cylinder container. And I had a little glitch in my camera, so it did not catch me recording myself painting those. But here I am just painting the bottom of those cylinders as well. And then using that folk art chalk paint, I just did the dry brush method on these as well. And you want to do that to all three and then just allow that to completely dry. So now I'm just grabbing that home sign that we started the project off with. I am placing each of those cylinders on top, finding a good placement for it. I marked it with a pencil so that way I knew where it was going to go once I put the glue on. So I'm using some adhesive glue. You could also use E6000 with a mixture of hot glue to attach these all onto the sign. And you want to allow these cylinders to completely dry for about 25 to 30 minutes before adding any accent pieces inside. And look at how cute this came out. So now again, you could add whatever you would like inside of these. I just got some of this floral foam, just placed that right inside. And I got these cute little daisies from Dollar Tree. So I just added those right inside. This is just going to create such a beautiful accent piece to any home. This could also be a really great Mother's Day gift. I had so much fun creating this. I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.